Earlier this summer, I made a video talking about the use of higher caliber GPUs for video editing. Now, if you haven't seen the video, definitely go check it out. It may actually help you. But TLDR, beefier GPUs do have a purpose when it comes to video editing. Okay, so now I have this GTX 1070 Ti in my personal rig, and no, I don't care about RTX series. I can't afford it anyways. My 1070 Ti is perfectly fine. But I still also have my GTX 950. Now I got to thinking about this crazy idea. That's not that crazy, but it was an idea. What if I use the 950 to output to my displays and leave the 1070 Ti for compute purposes only? The 1070, I'm, I'm not gonna bother saying Ti every time. You know what I'm talking about. It wouldn't have to use any resources on the display or anything else, and it could focus solely on the compute task, like video editing in my case. I mean, Windows does now let you decide which apps use which GPU if you have multiple, so why not at least try? So I ran some benchmarks on the 950, the 1070, and then both of them together. Now the 950 was in there just to see if the results of the combined tests were the same as it or not. Now I started with two games, CSGO and Left 4 Dead 2, to kind of mix it up for my usual game benchmark roster. Now, both of these games were run at 4K max settings to keep everything GPU bound, and because that's how I game now that I have a 4K monitor. And putting the two cars together is worse than the 950 by itself even. Disappointing. But what about video editing? the real compute task. Now I ran two tests, one playback test and one export test. Both were using my LG G5 six months later video, which speaking of the G5, I might be replacing it soon. So make sure you're subscribed to see that. But anyways, for the playback, I played through one minute starting right after the intro because there's an After Effects comp right there and then normal video. So a, a good mix of very GPU intensive stuff. For this playback, combining them was closer to the 1070, but it was still a bit lower. Now Adobe did seem to take advantage of the second GPU, but the act of sharing resources between the two cards ended up taking a hit on it. As for the export, well, yeah. It should be noted the 950 failed towards the beginning while the combination got close to finishing. Now during the export, both GPUs seemed to be working about evenly from what I could see. And when it came to VRAM, that's no exception. Now, remember from the last video, VRAM was a big issue with the 950. Now, it looked like it was filling up about evenly on both until the 1070 started filling up slightly more than the 950. So it was like 1.9 and 2.9, but it wasn't more enough though. And it still ended up failing, albeit later. Okay, wait. Didn't I say that I was going to tell Windows which GPU to use when? What's up with that? Um, uh, that failed. Yeah, apparently Windows can only distinguish between integrated and dedicated graphics, not between two dedicated cards. So the only options I had to assign was a 950 or a 950. That's why games were close to the 950 performance and the dip was likely due to bandwidth being taken by the 1070 just physically being there. And as for Premiere, Adobe probably did a better job of finding the second card, but still consider the 950 the main card, hence the limitations I spoke about. Now, I could try to use the 1070 as the main, with the 950 being a sort of booster card, but one, that's not the point of the video, which is about using a card for compute only, which failed, not about using multiple cards, and two, another creator called Max Yuryev actually did a video a while back show that even with two beefy cards, Adobe doesn't really get much, if any, performance boost from having more than one GPU. So I'm not really gonna bother with that. That's, nah. So in conclusion, you can't really use a GPU for compute only, at least not that I know of right now. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments below and I might make a follow-up video. If I do, definitely make sure you're subscribed for that. And if you like this video, leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, anything, leave a comment down below. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.